Well, after a year of COVID related closure, Chicago is celebrating a night at the museums. The Field Museum Shed Aquarium will be staying open until 9 o'clock on Friday night. The exhibits at the DuSable Museum, the Museum of Science and Industry, and National Museum of Puerto Rican Arts and Culture will all remain open until 10. The museums will resume normal hours at full capacity on Saturday. Two exhibitions showcasing talent from black Chicagoans and artists worldwide have opened at the Museum of Science and Industry. This is all part of the museum's black creativity program. And joining us to fill us in is Jemiah Calvin, one of the artists whose works is on display inside that exhibit, and Manny Juarez, Director of Science and Integrated Strategies with the museum. Good morning to both of you. Nice to see you. Morning. Good to have you. Okay, so there is a juried art exhibition, which I understand is the nation's longest running black created art exhibit. So tell me about that. Let's start with that. Sure. So it's the uh, it's a continue. It's been continuous uh, since 1970. This is our 51st year. Um, and it's a show that features professional artists who submit their work uh, is uh, juried by a professional uh, professional jury. And then we also have a student gallery upstairs that features work from Chicago high school students. And so uh, this year, despite the challenges of COVID and the closing, we still had essentially a full show as well as supporting exhibits, uh, not like the one that um, Calvin or Jemiah will talk about here in a moment. So we've been very happy. It's been very successful, well attended, and um, closes up here on July 4th. Um, at the museum. So again, we're very proud of the program. Uh, we're very happy that we're able to uh, pull this off despite the, again, the challenges and we invite everyone to come and see it. It's a so fantastic the, show. So the other one is the uh, Black Creativity, Art and Activism. And I'm wondering, uh, Jemaya, is this something that you are a part of? Tell me about your work. Um, basically, uh, my work was a campaign that started last year um, stating, uh, is it safe yet? And that was something that I put up during the murals that I did in Chicago and there one in Indiana. And it basically represented everything that was going on as far as protesting, um, the vaccine, COVID, everything that was all happening in one time. So it was a rhetorical question of, is it safe yet? Is it safe yet for black people? Is it safe yet for women? Is it safe yet for mm -hmm. minorities? You know, so that's what I put it up in my artwork. Well, let's talk about that because for you as an artist, it's a great way to express yourself and you're creating art in one of the most historical times in our country's history. So much going on. Tell me what that experience was like for you and what was your goal in what you were creating? Um, honestly, I could say it was a blessing at the same time because as an artist, we want to get our voices heard. You know, we want to display our work and get the message across. So um, I think it was a really, it was really good timing for it. Um, a way to express and put our voice out there in a nonviolent way, but still get the point across. And I think it came during the right time and the perfect time in history um, because of the mural movement. Um, shout out to Delilah Martinez and everybody that started this, that just basically put artists on the platform around Chicago to do this. Um, even though this has been going on for decades, as far back as the Wall of Respect in 1967. Um, so this has been going on for a while, but I think last summer, it just, with everything that was going on in the world, it put it on a higher platform. That is so true, Jemiah, because I, I think about all the murals that, that we have been uh, seeing in the Chicago area, and they all have a story to tell, and they touch you in ways that you didn't expect because you weren't expecting to walk down the street and to see a story like that. Um, just on a wall, a brick wall or somewhere in the city of Chicago. So I want to ask, um, I want to ask both of you, but Manny, let's start with you. How important uh, is it to have exhibits like this, especially now? Oh, it's certainly, um, it's very important. I mean, we're, uh, we're, of course, a museum that features science industry and innovation, but certainly we're a community resource and a community museum. And so to be able to give uh, those in the community a voice to uh, to share what was happening last year particularly uh, is very important and for us to uh, to be able to do that within our our platform and of course this is a program that the museum has as we said for over 50 years um, has uh, supported and uh, this was just a, a in a way an easy uh, decision for us to do and um, so it, it's critical for us to 
to be able to give people in the community, especially artists with our Black Creativity Program, um, give artists the opportunity to to share with the public, uh, share with our public and with our staff and supporters uh, these important messages, the things that are happening currently in in uh, in our city, in our well, communities. I have to say I'm excited to see this and um, we're out of time but I want our viewers to know that if you'd like more information you can go to msichicago.org. Gentlemen, thank you so much for uh, joining me this morning and Jemaya, I can't wait to see your work in person. So thanks for your time. Thank you. No problem. Coming thank up, you very much.